Hey YouTube and Inventum. Um, this is probably my last response. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. Um, so anyway, this conversation is a little bit pointless, uh, you know, because it's just really a conversation about um, um, this these people and their, you know, kind of fanatic. Um, I think undeserved. Um, appreciation for religious theory well I'm pretty much not religious at all anymore I'm not sure if you can even see the difference between faith and religion as um, <coughs> viable rational reasonable acceptable sensible um, and it just doesn't, it just doesn't win on any, it doesn't, I don't, I just can't imagine what the appeal is in a way, because, um, there's just nothing about God. Is there more about humanity? Humanity, you seem to enjoy so much, or not really, hmm. Um, that in any way uh, appeals to me. I mean, there's just not one single thing about it that appeals to me. Nothing. Like mercy, hope, these kinds of things, like a fair and just judge, above all, all of failed humanity, such as you and I, and the rest of them. A, an obnoxious... Um, Distant, uh, non communicative, brutal tyrant. I mean. That's your point of view. What is there to love? I'm sorry. I what is there to love in humanity? Or the earth, for that matter? The earth is evil. No one will grieve for it. I, I, God doesn't even sing, He doesn't do anything. He doesn't do a damn thing. Well, it grieves him that he created man, for example. And he loves us so much that he sent his only begotten son to die on the cross and rise again for us. So, not sure if he doesn't do anything. I guess in your eyes he doesn't. Or whatever he does is evil in your eyes. I would say the same about mankind for the most part. I mean, you know, unless you, <laughs> you know, unless you say, um, um, talking very, very softly, so softly that you can't hear him, um, is a skill. Um, yeah, he just doesn't have any talent that has any value to me whatsoever. Uh, but anyway. We'll get to some of that, maybe. So, anyway, this starts with the first question, which is this evasion of the right to die question, um, where he basically says you have the right to die, blah, 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 blah. I point out that uh, handing a woman a coat hanger is not saying she has a right to an abortion. So this is just bullshit. We know that technology can make a big difference in how graceful your exit will be. Um, and... Um, people have an entitlement, just as people have an entitlement to use technology to make surgery more pleasant and very... People do have entitlements. <coughs> in some areas of the world they have more, in other areas they have less. Again, I'd say God is in control, especially for those who aren't too entitled in this hellhole. Terrible. People have a, you know, to save their life. People have a right to expedite their death with the same technology and with the same efficiency. And it's just bullshit to do anything to hinder that right. And then he brings up Switzerland, and we know that these stupid laws don't mean anything. They don't have anything to do with the, the right to die, uh, suicide. They just have the, the, with the right to mitigate against some sort of extreme illnesses. Uh, it's just another bureaucracy. It's it just isn't going to, it's not practical or useful for me. 
Exactly, I agree. It's bullshit. It really is. It's easier to just jump off a building. I still stand by that. Truly do. Because humanity is never gonna do it right or fix it. They always will have a lot of bureaucracy or stupid judges or whatever. Just humanity as it is, is a failure. So if you really wanna quit, you call it quits and you jump off a building. That's my call at least. Most people, they can't really exercise that right themselves. They have to exercise it through a whole huge institution. So, yeah, it's just bullshit for you to make this argument that, um, <laughs> you, you know, it, you should be, it should be hands off. I should be able to buy a knife and cut whatever I want with You are able to buy a knife and cut your wrists with it. Nobody says you can't. Nobody. The technology should be mine. It's yours. Not yours. You don't own it. The life lovers and livers should not be allowed to take possession of technology as um, and claim that only they know how to use it. That's like saying that pens can only be used by people who are writing capitalist rubbish. Um, bullshit. Uh, the socialists should be allowed to have a pen too. Absolutely. That's what's happening in this world. You have a right to voice your opinion. I have a right to voice my opinion. All the public bullshit media has the right to voice their opinion, not the truth, and so on. I don't see the argument here. All I said was, you can either go the legal way and get your poison legally and poison yourself legally, because nobody's gonna poison you on your behalf. Unlike uh, baby killing by abortion, people do that for money. But killing you for money, maybe somewhere on the dark web you'll find a guy that will kill you for 10,000 bucks or something. I don't know, I don't see your arg arg argument here. I don't see it at all. I mean, you can even poison yourself right now and go gracefully. You can take... Um, a milligram of LSD and then jump off a building. It'll be fucking fun or something. Really, you can mitigate the pain right there with drugs or whatever. I mean, okay, it's illegal LSD. There's so many ways to kill yourself and even go quote unquote gracefully. There really is. Uh, anyway. Um. So uh, his argument is this, uh, it's kind of like the 12-stepper thing. It's all out of my control. I put everything in God's hands, blah, 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 blah. And it's, again, he just kind of evades that argument that that's just an abdication. Um, there's sh real shit happening here on the lifeboat. You're evading the argument that you can already go as gracefully as you choose pretty much and the very argument that no one will kill you as a grown-up as far as I know yeah there's no institution that will kill you even the institutions we have will have you kill yourself with the poison that's all I'm saying so it's still suicide. You do it a bit more or a bit less gracefully. In the end, it's still a mess and it's still a suicide. Punk. And the God theory isn't going to fix the real shit on the lifeboat. So you can say that I am doing something. I'm talking about God. The God theory, as you call it, doesn't fix shit on the lifeboat. I'm not so sure. I guess we're all the change we want to see. We can make the changes we want. But can we truly fix it? I highly doubt it. Humanity can't. Hitler tried. Stalin tried. They all tried and all failed. And so would you and I. We will all fail. But with godly people there's still hope at least in this mess. This lifeboat won't be saved, and if it will, it'll be the Antichrist that does it. Off to part two.